Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. Welcome, Calvisham. So we'll see who's around today, but at some point, once more people trickle in, we'll talk a little bit about challenge mode. <clears throat> Since I'm not feeling the best in terms of health at the moment, I don't think I really want to push uh, challenge mode for this weekend, but I definitely want to start it by next weekend. So I figured it for now, we'll see how things go, and that'll let me know if I feel up to streaming uh, for either this evening or even tomorrow. We'll see. But I think otherwise, let's uh, play some PSO. We're still listening to the Seventh Dragon soundtrack. I cannot believe we're only on song 23 out of 77. It's going to be a long soundtrack, which I guess is good for me because I don't like touching the soundtrack mid-run anyway. Huh? There is apparently another update, which is weird, because I'm pretty sure I was on yesterday. And just to confirm that the Halloween event was down, so I'm not sure what it's downloading now. Well, maintenance has been made, following changes were made, fixed performance issues. Okay. Add a new direct DLX file, add advanced config. Advanced config file? Hmm. I'm kind of curious. I'm gonna put this aside for now. Maybe maybe we'll we'll circle back to that next time. But yeah, apparently there was an update late yesterday. Cause it's weird, because I was on yesterday. That was the thing that threw me off. I'm like, wait. I logged in around three o'clock yesterday, which is not super early. It's like three PM. So something must have happened in between. But oh well. Enough about that. Let's go ahead and boot into PSO. So I think the goal today is just, just kind of experiment a little bit with quests. Confirm the bonuses. Confirm the RBR. There's one quest I want to do once we have, let's say, three people. And that'll be random attack stage one. We started doing a little bit of that. Not the last session, but I think the session prior. Since I'm actually really curious about how viable it would be if we did an orange ID run into uh, basically caves, mines, and potentially palace. Because if we could get all three of those, honestly, that might be my new selection of quests <laughs> when it comes to uh, playing orange ID. The only downside is I really need like a raw cast at some point or like a hue cast that's orange ID. So I need to start identifying what characters I'm missing. I'm missing ATP for orange. So I'm going to say remaining characters. Need Aran, ATP, need Skyly, of course. So those are the only two I've locked in that I have not made. I still have four slots, plus two, so maybe six character slots to populate. Oh no, that's not true. I have seven because I got a Ramar. So Ramar equals question mark. I don't know what ID I'd like to do. I'm assuming some kind of solo ID for him. But welcome in Parameter. Ooh, look at that chat. Nobody in the block. In a game, anyway. Hopefully you're doing well in Parameter. Let me know if you wanted to play anything, otherwise I'm just going to warm up with some solo TTF. That's still drop rate week. It hasn't rotated through. It means RBR is probably the same, yeah. Oh well. Later today we'll confirm it, I guess. I don't need any of these. Oh, I should get my trimates back. Okay, I'm glad I went here. I did actually need trimates. <clears throat> I will slightly lower the song volume because I know my voice is kind of quiet today. A little better. Oh, that reminds me. Somebody's using my Excalibur. Is that my Red ID character? I 
guess I could just play as her. I mean, it's gonna go slower than just doing other things. Tell people editing the missed text into funny things in the Euphonia Discord. Oh yeah, I haven't looked at all. I'm definitely curious what's in there, for sure. Although, I might see if there's another add-on update, because this one is, like, super bugged. Ever since I went to a new computer, I don't think the menu has been loading as expected. And I have no idea how to turn that off, sadly. Where it keeps popping up with the main menu. Like, even though in my- even in my config it says zero, it just overrides it and puts one every time. It's so brutal. I guess this is fine. She should have my Excal. Yeah, I was gonna say. Somebody had my 30 hit Excal. We were doing the long-term memory test there. Yeah, I'm not looking to speed clear this, so I'm still gonna go and kill at least the first room worth of enemies. And while I'm doing so... Get the boxes here. Uh, I guess I could berserk. Oh, I didn't check her healing items. Okay, that's good. <laughs> if she was like 5 and 4, it would have been so sad. I've been like, uh, change of plans. She is still surprisingly strong. Even without Shifta. Speaking of which... I realize my single player buff isn't here. I will probably need that for later. do a little dance near them real quick. Hmm. I should probably go get that, honestly. Detour. I realized I put that away last time. It dawned on me that I was trying to free up slots last time. We're gonna lose a little bit of meter, but that's fine. I was mostly using Berserk. <clears throat> I mostly want it for Vault Up, and then final phase of Balls. While it's wasting my time, I might as well as buff. So losing a couple seconds there doesn't really matter compared to the time waste of not having it. For example, I could just use it now. It doesn't really matter. Got it. So sad. Ooh, still not strong enough to one shot. What a shame. Maybe she needs a native A beast dark flow. She it currently is zero percent native, so I guarantee you a ten percent native that would have killed with five hits. I'm only missing by like a hundred or so. Unfortunate. I think it's possible for her to one-shot it, because it doesn't have a lot of health. Just damage range occurs. I don't know if it's dependent on me critting part of it, though. Oh well, I tried to avoid the needing two swings. That would have been a time save normally. Silly. My brain was like, oh, there's an enemy still alive, let's attack it. And I'm like, oh wait, piercing shot. Oops. <laughs> it's fine though. You know what? I'm gonna put another happy confuse trap down. It might result in some deaths. But just extending the duration of confuse. Why even freeze them? Let's just confuse them. Oh, we almost got a kill, chat. It went down to 219. 
Pretty close. We're gonna check for rare slimes. If you don't get it, it's fine. I still get more kills here than anywhere else. I might as well do the checks. Okay, since we gotta wait anyway, now it's time to kill them. Or I have 91% accuracy. I thought 100% accuracy, chat. I trolled myself on that one. Did you like that beautiful minute? That beautiful series of misses at 91%. Pretty sure she has smart link on, so yeah. Tried to play the odds. I was like, mm-mm. Do better. I'm like, you're right. I, I should have known better on that one, apparently. Shift to here might make a difference. I might as well as pop it. I wasn't sure if I'd have invincibility here, so I didn't want to risk using shift to here to save more time. Almost. I saw it reduce it to 69. If I had done a little more damage, that would have been a small time save. But oh well. We gotta test our limits. I don't usually use this gun on her, or not gun. I don't usually use this weapon on her. I'm used to Jaya. As long as I do heavy special special, it's generally good enough. Oh, I didn't mean- oh. I didn't mean to shoot that early. As soon as I did that, I knew I made a mistake. It's annoying. That's what I get for resting my thumb on the button while still waking up. Rip my skip doll. I right, still got one for later. At least I have, like, almost a visual cue with where to stand to make sure I can hit that shot. So that I, that I feel okay about. There is that kind of, like, strip of light along the floor, and I'm like, as long as I'm, like, roughly center on it, it always seems to have the cannon then in solo play, so I don't have to move the camera. Just, like, small improvements over time. Minus me doing whatever on Sinnoh Red. Like, I've said it a million times, but as long as you keep moving... It won't shoot you. I took like one less step than I should have, and that resulted in a death, which was totally my fault. Um, I think this should work. And I, and I didn't bring my single player gun. So annoying. <clears throat> I'm making mistakes. That's how I can tell I'm getting sick. I don't feel fully aware. Like I just talked about Shifter earlier. I didn't use Shifter. Unfortunate. And I got short cycle. That's kind of kind of rude. I was curious why that hitbox is like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a good gun for this now. We all it cares about is gun ATP. Damn. I should have checked to see if I got rid of that. I mean, I'll use this over nothing. I'll set it for the next one.
will die eventually. Yeah, so I don't think last one does enough damage. Here I even risk a Disco Brave Man. I feel like it's just gonna green orb me and I'm gonna die. In multiplayer, I'm willing to roll the dice. I don't know if in single player I am. I'm just gonna do a heart attack and see what it does. Oh, it actually did the best possible thing. Huh. Oh. Well, I mean, if the game has mercy on me, we'll take it. Listen, chat. <laughs> I'm like, I'm still waking up. We'll take that. Yeah, that was like the kindest pattern I've seen probably all year. Double heal. Like, okay. Speaking of which... I will need this to fix my mag synchro. Hmm. I don't really feel like doing the full Arlen checks today. I'll do something like this. Walk in the corner, turn around. I need to remember to angle it more to the right, but I have to remember that right is left because I have to flip around. That's fine. Um, yeah, I guess I could do this. We're just gonna kill the sorcerer. I might take some pot shots at the Arlens, depending on how low they are. I mean, in theory, I could just get a free kill while I'm waiting here. It looks like that was not to be. That was almost bad. Yeah, so I lost some time just going back to the other weapon and then being super dumb with uh, my S reds. But oh well. Uh, at least I got invincibility. So I'll probably clear around 14 minutes instead of sub-14. It's definitely easier with Ralmar. Is that a monolith? Welcome, Chris. Also, bringing the right gun to bolt off would have shaved like 30 seconds. Because I was like, man, this is why you need red handgun. It saves so much time when you do that. He's like glossed over for a second there. That was not good. Let's go over here. <laughs> also, I definitely lost track of how many I killed. I thought I could tell I'm not awake. I was like thinking, oh no, spinner death, spinner death. And I'm like, wait, no, I'm fine. No, the swing was well. Oh, come on. So unfair. My swing even came out, but it didn't hit the spinner and it didn't hit the boss. That was so unfair. Rip chant. That's how I can tell I'm not awake. <laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely getting sick. I'll probably not stream tomorrow, honestly. I don't feel at my best at the moment. But anyway. I guess in a way, I'm just freeing up scape doll slots, because I have too many on this character anyway. Yeah, I might just sleep in the afternoon to be honest. Even though I don't like to skip streams, it's just one of those things where I just don't feel well. But at the same time, I gotta do at least something today. I'm gonna be bored out of my mind.
you filthy short cycler. <laughs> filthy chat, filthy. Oh my gosh, I actually dodged it while sick. I can't even dodge that while healthy. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. How did that happen? Is that the first time on stream I've ever done that? I feel like it is. Too tight. I need to be more centered in the path for that to work. Yeah, this is where I'm gonna lose a lot of time. I got short cycled, so sad. I don't really want to do anything here. Let's just S Red Blade. Might as well regen some health. I'm gonna wait for the boss to hit me. You know, it said 112%, but I missed. I feel like the vice lied to me there, chat. I don't know about you. I'm like, wait, how did how did I miss that exactly? On the third hit? Thanks, game. It's like Worm Boss. When Worm Boss is a bait, it says you can always hit, and then it just moves, and it, it, you miss anyway due to it moving. Can you imagine if they patched that out of the game, chat? How <laughs> much easier the game would be? No more dumb movement-based uh, dodges. Oh, instead of 15 minutes, it was 16 minutes on the dot on the clear. Whatever. So sad. But anyway, people would like to hop in some games. I've warmed up. The conclusion, don't feel well. But hey, we managed to dodge falls, I think, for the first time ever on stream. I know what the trick is. I'm just really bad at it. Since I, I get really bored in solo TTF, the way I kind of want to explain it is that if you make sure that you're dead center along the ring and you do really fine adjustments without cutting too close to the inner ring, you will always dodge. For people that are not aware of that, I'm just really bad at it, chat. <laughs> it's something I fortunately don't have to practice for challenge mode because it doesn't use the hard mode boss AI. Otherwise, I'd be very sad if I had to learn how to dodge that for challenge mode consistently. So yeah, I find that if I go at least roughly center and try to keep it there, that's why it dodges. But I usually cut too tightly, and I usually get hit afterwards. But welcome, Draken. Hope you're doing well. Mm, I'm gonna switch characters. I'm not gonna worry too much about what I have here. Although, I should probably put that Excal away, because I'll forget that I have it on this character. Though I still managed to make him a set of profit, which I guess is the plus side of Excal. I think with my Jaya, it's actually slower than Jaya, but the difference is that the damage is more guaranteed with Excalibur, so it's kind of... I'm kind of on the fence. If I crit a couple times with Jaya, the damage compared to Excalibur is so much higher due to the, the multiplier. But if I just barely hit it, I'm usually doing, like, heavy special special on both of them. And I have a little bit of ABs, so they're close enough that usually it doesn't make a big difference. Well, anyway, if Chad is ready to play some games, let's switch into a different character. I will play Force. I want to see a couple of these alternate paths on random stage one. The only downside is I think uh, Caves is a little weak on Auron. Which is a bit unfair. Working out the new Dropbox add-on. Dropbox add-on? I don't know what you mean. Unless you mean the, the new maintenance file. I haven't looked at it yet. I'm gonna go ahead and make a game in episode one. 
So as long as you're comfortable with dealing with Volt Up slash Mines enemies, you bring in whoever you want. Oh, it puts names on top of the box drops. I think that would drive me... I think that would drive me wild. I, I don't see how that would help, per se. Unless it's like... I guess if it's a non-Christmas fiasco quest, it makes more sense, but... Usually a lot of the quests we play, the amount of items dropped are just kind of bonkers. Especially the zoo drops, where they stack on each other. Like, the times I actually would want to identify it, I'm not sure it would help me. And set it to materials only. That makes a bit more sense. Because usually I think of like the zoos where all their stacks are, are on top of each other in episode 4. Like literally. So it's just kind of one of those things where I'm like... Eh. I, it makes sense in some rooms. Yeah, maybe, maybe if I like super fine tune it down to just very specific materials... Yeah, like, it, it would have to be, like, luck material, power material, mind material. And that would be it. That would be the only thing I'd want to have pop up on it. Because I think anything beyond that, and it's, like, insanity. Like, I don't want your weapons to pop up there. I definitely don't want common weapons to pop up there. No armors. Probably not recovery items. But maybe. Maybe if it's super, super, super niche. <laughs> in terms of what's accepted. Uh-oh, Double Force in Episode 1. This will be interesting. You know what? I don't feel like selling it. I'm just gonna drop it on the floor. It'll be fine. Hopefully. We have to kill Chaos Bringers. If we get a good path. And that is not something a Force could kill normally. I guess I can dual wield adepts and bring a bringers. That way I can actually do something against the other enemies. Speaking of which, let's also give her a magical piece because I have nothing better to do. Let's see, how much am I Gafoe stacking? Uh, we are potentially going to mine, so I should probably bring a Gafoe merch. For now, I'm going to leave it on three seals, since I want to resist EDK. The double add up three seals at least is some protection against the nonsense. You tune it down and then filter your floor list further. It's not so much the floor list, it's more that like literally the names would overlap on each other, because there's a lot of enemy spawns now that if you kill like multiple sorcerers or dwarfons or other things, that's depending on the quest it can stack on top of each other so you'll have like an amalgamation of like triple box or quadruple box depending on like what episode four quest you're doing and it would just become unreadable depending on how many items are there unless you're able to customize the height of each individual item then i would say complaint no longer valid but yeah a lot of the times like if you're doing maximum attack every single zoo more or less spawns in the same spot as another zoo so and those are the those are like the times i genuinely want to find the items where like there's a couple times here and there when i'm just clearing out normal waves i could see it being useful there but most of the time unless it's like unless it's like a terrell well, yeah unless it's like a terrell's or i'm in like a, a long room in episode four most of the time i find the materials without needing it it would make sense potentially in like Cookie Quest, for example, if I really, really fine tuned it, since I don't usually have time to pick it up even if I see it. Yeah, very, very curious with stacked enemy drops. Like, test, uh. What is it? Massive Attack B? That probably is the most zoo stacks that I can think of offhand. So I'm assuming it's just the three of us, so we'll get started in just a moment. Double-checking I didn't miss anything in my items before continuing. 
So I don't have any attack speed boosters, but I am at 186 ATA, which means at least I should be able to do something against the other enemies. I like how I just said like a bunch of text in all capitals. I did not read it. I acknowledge it was there and I'm like, nah. So basically we want to go to the right when we come to the first split. Oh, okay. You got at least rambling May damage. That's good. I'm going to say, because I, I don't have any damage. I'll do my best to slow them down. I'm going to be relying on chat to eventually kill the Lilies. Yeah, like in a room like this, like, I don't know if I would like quote unquote need it. It's more like if the enemies are also super dense. So like, for example, um, I might prefer it in Rescue from Regal, just because there's like so many enemies per room. Maybe to some extent it's Earl's Ego. Yeah, I'm definitely worried about Clutter, but if you could fine tune it down to the item, that definitely is it, because it because if it's just like, oops, every material gets named, then I'm like, no, that's <laughs> that's not gonna help. But just just a couple, then then I could definitely see it. Make sense. A paralyzed. Yeah, because the problem is more to Draken is that proximity also still would not help in this situation that I'm talking about. Because a lot of the times there's just so many items that if it didn't let you filter down, you just literally wouldn't see anything. It would just be a wall of text. Like, this room would be an example where it would help because the enemies are spread out. But then you go to play, like, as I said before, like a Terrell's Ego where there's like 15, then 30, then like 45 enemies all in one space. <laughs> it's just a mess of items. Unreadable. Oh my gosh, we actually got the door I was looking for. Also, I'd like to say rest in peace to everybody, since we're definitely dying to Lily. PS, by the way. We have the buffs since I'm bored. Remember, this, this, is the, this is the downside to doing this room. On the plus side, at least for Foey, kind of works. Downside, I really should have brought Cure Paralysis. That's fine. So at least, like, I can sort of handle this room. Like, I think Chad would agree. I think I handled that room decently. Like, that definitely could have been a lot worse. I don't know if it was, like, the most optimal way, but at least I chipped out some lilies. I, I would not want to do that as a ranger, because they're so spread apart. I think last time I was here as a ranger, and it was just profound sadness. Did you really knock me down before I could rebarda? That is so rude. That is maximum rudeness. The vicious flower bouquet, exactly. Gotta look out for the deadly flower arrangement. I really need cure paralysis for this route. It's actually costing me a lot of time. Yeah, I could get rid of god technique. That's not super required. And also detect player's deals item. Oh, that's an interesting use case. Yeah, I mean, how often are you going to come across, like, Soul Calibur or, like, Shadow Sniper and have it on in the reader? That's a good point. I like that. Can you imagine if the EDK actually worked? I was gonna say, listen, chat, I'm gonna believe in the Megan. Wait, I think I actually killed it. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Megan finally worked. Just gotta keep spamming. So I don't know where this will take us. If it takes us to mines, we're good. If it takes us anywhere else, sadness will ensue. But we'll learn. 
That looked like another split. I don't know if that made a difference or if that's guaranteed. Arguably, since I'm just using Rufoe, it's just Fire Scepter. Okay, so at least replaying this quest. I could see myself having a really good time doing solo runs as Fonu Roll. Where their resistances aren't as stupid and they obviously have way less health. Because I think she's actually really good at Chaos Springer, for example. But only in single player. Since you could kill it in, I think, three or four Bardas, depending on your setup. If I have, like, Summit Moon plus my blue barrier, for example, that might be good enough to free kill. I mean, on the plus side, look at this stupidity. Yeah, like this, this, these rooms actually feel set up for uh, forces. Now that I got to experience as a different character, this would feel like a lot of fun in single player. If my Rafoe hits like 12 targets, I just can't keep up with that in single player. Okay, where is this taking us? Hopefully mines. Perfect. <clears throat> so remember, guild chicks are an item that you want to get with the force. Sinnoh blue and Sinnoh red are V101 and Excal, I think. So all three of those are huge. So even just like normal robots here are kind of nice. Oh, I should have brought Rafoe Merge. Note to self, when I come back later, I'm, I'm just going to equip a Rafoe Merge. Because I think I can actually do a decent amount of damage here. I just don't think if we take the optional path, I could do anything versus some of the bosses. And then I'll need somebody, since I don't have Red Saber Crimson Coat on this character, to uh, deal with the other one. I'm Robot, but do not kill me. No promises. <clears throat> So yeah, I could see myself with the Rufoe merge. Maybe it's worth going back for, honestly. Not like I don't know where it is. Yeah, let's just do that. I'm leaving 30% damage on the table. I might as well just go pick it up. Ugh, out of room. Yes, it could make a difference. Arguably, this might be one of the only times I would possibly consider for lazy reasons using a red barrier, red verge, or whatever. Just because I'll be swapping between Gafoe and Rafoe pretty often here, I think. But we'll see. I guess it depends on how stackable they are. In the meantime, let's fix our man. Oh. That kind of sucks. On the plus side, those missiles should hit the other people. Thank you, regular Foe. out of here. Yeah, now my damage is looking respectable. I'd still probably have trouble with Sinnoh Red to an extent, even in single player, but three other enemies, not too bad. Yeah, like Lone Guy over here. I have Fire Staff, so I do okay damage. Oh. Is it Daylight Scarring the poor Gilcha?
Oh, like this room, for example, is just free with Rufoe. Free, chat. It's free. Oh, it's Sacred Duster. Oh, that sucks. You need Daylight Scar. So this is a room in single player where all of them would be fighting each other with missiles. So this room looks terrible, but honestly, it's this is a pretty easy room in single player. Multiplayer, it's a little bit of a nightmare. Single player free. Okay, yeah, zap one of them. It's interesting that the shock status ailment never pops up on the reader for monsters for me. I don't know if that's like a normal thing, but like paralysis will, and so will the debuffs and frozen, but not uh shock. Okay, let's clear the way so that they can do things. Yeah, like our Rafoe's combined are just so strong in this room, even in multiplayer. Immediately got a double freeze. So it has to go to a boss at some point. So as I said before, every Sinnoh is value, every punching robot is value. Punching robots give S parts. I forgot if I mentioned that. 2.01. It's super rare, but you know, if it has a decent number of them, it's worth doing. But it also has a shocking amount of brands, to be honest with you. This is not like the easiest of things. Oh, I got punched in a missile. That sucks. It's not the easiest of things to deal with, was what I was about to say. Off of them the best I can. Put out a couple of Gifoe sacks in case we fight more here. Might as well try to slow them down. That sucks. I think I got pushed into the death missiles. The brand spawns are kind of hard to deal with with the Sinnohs. Again, in single player, it's not as bad. Just because the Sinnohs would have way less health. If I was stacking Gafoe, I could reasonably kill them. I'm not given a lot of opportunities to use my demons on a three-person party, but I can see with the fourth person. It'd be a little easier to get my demons off. Buy some buffs again. Yeah, like, this room is fine. Oh, I love the Sinnoh reds on the floor there. Yeah, like, these guys are weak to ice, so for example, I can line up a Barda shot on these if I want. To help Chris out. Deal with him real quick. And again, we just have, like, little fireballs to delay them, so even if it doesn't stack properly... It's... ooh. Speaking it doesn't stack properly, don't stack on me. Again, every one of those Sinnohs is big value for orange ID. So we are seeing a lot of Sinnohs, and it did not take very long to get here either. Nice photon drop. Just looking to see if the switch was over here. Oh, I see it. It's like way over here. That is a lot of Sinnoh Reds. Can we agree, chat? Holy. Uh, please. Oh boy, please debuff. Oh no. Running away time. This would still be a lot of fun in single player. The, the, only, the only thing so far that's making me question single player as a forest 
is the room where it was like four Sinnohs plus two Barads. That, that's, that's a little hard to deal with. Like, like two or three brands is fine in single player, but also having Sinnoh body blocking them. Oh, I can't target him. That's so sad. Oops, sorry. I could go here in case there's an item I needed. So where is this taking us now? Oh, so we are going to the palace, so we found the optional path. Okay, so get ready for Chaos Springers and even more Sinnoh Reds. So one thing that's also kind of funny, chat, is that orange should mean that we get, uh, a, because we get so many dark bringers, that should mean that we get profits of Motaf. So technically this is another uber hunt for orange. So to me, this just seemed like pure value. I'll be real with you. So if we're able to clear this, you know, Sinnoh Blues, obviously, we get our V101 Excal Mists with the reds. But then we also get Prophets of Motav just because. Hilarious. And again, this would be very easy in single player with Force. This is the room I was kind of worried about. Okay, let's see if we can deal with it. Okay, debuff time. Debuff is working. Let's see if we can get some bringers in here. I'm so dead. I tried not activating him, but even at 99% chance of hitting, I still missed. Yeah, I think orange, because like Darkbringer is a drop, Sinnoh Red is here, and Sinnoh Blue is here. The only thing they don't really benefit from as much is Hildelt, because... I mean, they still get a decent rare. They If it becomes rare Hildelt, it becomes Hilda Tour, then they still get like Sincesta. So it's still value, but obviously not as good as the potential value of Frozen Shooter. So they get basically value from everything here except for Crimson Assassin. Which, at that point, 30 chances of profit at Motab, like another 8 for Excal, and like another 11 for B101. I'm kind of okay with that. <laughs> but I can see this being a lot of fun in single player. I might want to try this in single player on stream. Yeah, them having like half health and half resistances on some enemies is gonna be so huge. Like this is a room that would just get absolutely stomped on with Rebarda. And then you just gotta finish the Hildel off at the end. Put out a Kapoe. That should stop their charges. Or no, it didn't. That's so sad. They charged into it and went, nope. Oh boy. Alright, we're, we're gonna walk in big old circles real quick. Don't mind me. Yeah, this is before. Every Sinnoh is value, and every single one of these waves is at Sinnoh. Not to mention the, the alt chance of an uber rare. I mean, I think if Prophet of Motaf's drops, that's like, what, 200 PDs? <laughs> so I'm like, that, that kind of makes up for not having a Frozen Shooter here, to be honest. It's like, uh... I think I'm more likely to get a Prophet's than a high hit percentage uh, Frozen Shooter. As I said before, just look how many Thinos extra we're getting because we got this path. So good. If we could get this every time, I think this would actually be one of the best orange value quests. They keep robbing me of my weapons. Ouch. I have been sniped. Rest in peace, me.
Oh boy. Quite divine time for sure. Can't reach washing machine for the buffs. On the plus side, they should just collide into each other and die. I'll chip them out a little more. That's not where I thought the other force was. Oh, I got the freeze. <laughs> yeah, check, check and see why I was worried about two forces now. Because <laughs> I, I looked at that, I'm like, there's 30 Chaos Springers. That's a lot of Chaos Springers. So, single player, easy. Multiplayer, hard. Because remember, in, in single player, they have almost literally half of the resistances and half the health. So I think you could reasonably kill them in five or six Rebardas with like a Congeal Cloak and maybe a Rebarda Merge. Like that that is not that bad in single player. Multiplayer, chaos. <laughs> it's like you're you're gonna be casting like literally hundreds of spells. So I got a couple opportunities to snipe, but there were just so many of them. Oh, that's the quest. Okay. Or maybe it'll go to the boss fight. It'll go to Dragon. Which, you know what? I'm kind of okay with. You know what? If this is what it leads to every time, I'm kind of okay with it. I want to check something, though. I mean, obviously the boss is over there. I'm just curious. No secrets for coming down this way, right? Ah, no secrets. Okay, I mean, Dragon Boss, I think we could agree, is a good, a welcome relief <laughs> fighting the other board. So yeah, I definitely want to try that a couple times. If you'd like to hop in Draken, we definitely welcome any kind of additional damage on that final area. Might as well to lure them. Regen my TP. Put magical piece, I guess, for chain lightning boost. Almost got it. Oh, maybe I did get it. Yeah, I think that's probably the most value you could cram in. So definitely like a way above average frozen shooter and drops. Not too bad. Wow, okay. Wow. Multiple box PDs. See chat, this is why you check those boxes. Here um. What would I change for it? Obviously, cure. Oh, PD from Dragon itself. Never mind. Uh, let's see. What do I not need? Honestly, I didn't really get a good chance to Kafoe stack in some rooms. Maybe I'll just stick to Rafoe for this quest, and then I can bring in Cure Paralysis. Actually, does she have her own Cure Paralysis rather than take it from the share bank? She does, okay. If I do that, my life will be so much better. I could see Kinjil Cloak still being useful in single player just because if I'm by myself, Sinnoh Red, Chaos Bringer, need ice damage. So if I happen to have Rafoe out for clears, I could try to fast swap into Rebarta Merge. I guess I don't need three seals for the run, technically. There's very few times I actually use the damage boost. We'll just live on the edge when it comes to surviving uh, death shots. Maybe it would make more sense all the Rebarta merge for now. 
Because there are times where I'm spamming it. Like, I know, for example, when I'm in... When there's, like, multiple Thinno Red Runes... Rebarda Merge would speed up the kill significantly. Or, like, I'm fighting Barans. I'm generally going to be using Rebarda over Resond. Kind of material... No idea what it was. I might as well just pick up what I can. I can't. That's fine. <laughs> See ya. We'll try it again. So if anybody else wants to hop in and join us. That was like the optimal route that we got. I'm glad we got it in one try because I was trying to fish for that one. I have a telephone for some reason. I don't need these. Oh, Draken has joined us. Damage has joined the team. Welcome, Draken. <laughs> Do some of these. Yeah, if Orange had a slightly better Grass Assassin, it, this would probably be like the best quest of all time for Orange. Like, could you imagine if they got Shuren or something like that? How broken they would be. That final area would just be every enemy's value. And even here, it would still be decent value. Yeah, the downside to this quest is that if you don't get the right combo, their mines are just... Or not their mines, their caves are just kind of okay. Like, you could get a Jito 1975 from Dragon, a Heart of Item from Melkweek, Photon Filters. Like, there's some value that's unique to them. But it's not, like, super amazing in caves. But consequently, their mines value is really high. We'll wait for a dragon. Yeah, Prophet's Emota. There's no Death Gunner, so no Heart of Item from them. No worries. So I'll quit my Fire Scepter and honestly just kind of stay in my Rafoe menu. Like, even in multi- Oh, I got hit there. That kind of sucks. Even in multiplayer, I feel like I do okay here. It's probably the scariest room to me, just because the lilies are not really close enough to Rufoe them, as I've just found out. Uh, I'm using him to chip out the rest of the room. I think that worked kind of well. Yeah, if they didn't nerf Yellow Boss, this probably also would have been an amazing Yellow Boss, because uh, Grass Assassin would have been Heaven Punisher. Just for clarity. So we missed out on potentially having completely obscene Heaven Punisher runs. And they could play basically every area. Reset if you get to falls. lobby. I don't think doing ruins is worth it on orange for the most part. If they at least had red ring, you know, at least I would go and continue that run. But before then, I'm like, hmm, downside. So you get some chances at least of skins, which I guess it could be worse on resets. At least there's something you get when we reset. But you definitely feel it when you don't get what you need. Whereas Yellow Boss would have been amazing, because you could have gone anywhere. I was like, just imagine. Because Yellow Boss has an amazing Ruins, it has a really strong Mines, and it has uh, pretty much everything other than Falls. So you would only reset if you got Falls. Because if you went to the bonus area, the Grass Assassins are Heaven Punisher. And you'd be like, oh no, I get value. <laughs> just like... This room kind of sucks. Maybe I stay over here to deal with them. I 
I handled that room a little better than before. Pretty clean. Thank you, Empowered Barda. I love the shadows on the ceiling. Just, they get me every time, chat. So yeah, they're even positioned, so if I, like the center lily there, I hit all three lilies, which is kind of nice. See what a big difference it makes me with me using the Riffle Emerge. Oof. Come on, game. Alright, if we get it again, well, we might as well just take it. <laughs> just honestly at this point. Like skipping skipping one in a row, it's fine. Two in a row, mmm. Three in a row, we'll try it. I mean like their ruins are okay, like, right? You get Heavenly Battles, Musashi, Guardianas, Prophet of Motad, Heart Ofs. Like, there's some value there. I guess. It's not, like, the craziest of values, but you could, in theory, still do it. So if we're just looking for XP and normal drops, it's fine. targeting. Rip. He's gonna say team wipe over there. Rip team. Is this a poor At least there's like nano dragons and stuff. Like those are those are real. All quakes I think of the other item we're looking for. I always get confused because their name is so different between normal and ultimate that when I look at drop charts and it names them by their original thing I'm like I don't remember what enemy this is supposed to be. Be real with you. If I use quick menu Rifoe, it's not too bad here. As I said before, I can at least stun lock the room and also chip out things like the Grass Assassin. It's not bad. Okay, if we get it again, we're, we're, we're going in. We'll take it as a sign. We'll be like, fine game. We'll go this way. I was gonna say fine we'll continue we better get profits yeah it's not like we don't have some drops anyway it's just there's there's funny enough more chaos springers and the optional path that way than actually going to ruins which I do find funny Yeah, like here I actually feel like I'm doing something where I killed most of them. Put them in like one tap range by the time the team's done with the other things too. Goodbye, Pen Arms. Pen Arms is ultra dead. single note before the video pauses. 
Hatch messed up my movement. Hmm, interesting. Well, got to deal with them. My best to just spam rip over here. Clear out some of them at least. Like again, the enemy numbers are actually really, really good for forces. And maybe this is really just a force-oriented quest. I mean, sadly in multiplayer they lose their advantage, but I still see like where a lot of these rooms are just completely manhandled by forces. I don't see how they would deal with this. Like playing as a hunter here solo sounds like a nightmare. Ranger, they could get away with some of the rooms, but there's just so much to hit. For better or for worse. Kind of red ring, nice. Did solo at Hugh Cass? Hugh Cass can solo anything, though. I think he's kind of the cheat. I wouldn't want to play like Hugh Mar, Hugh Cassiel, or uh, Hugh Neural here. I feel like it would just take too long. Hugh Cast is so strong he can do solo tower. He doesn't count. <laughs> Just like. What a character. He's on his own tier. Level 28 grant. Nice. See that? We got rewarded. That's a cheat answer to play Humor. That's true. There's a chance at another put a Motown. I'm not gonna say no to. I need Chad to kill that Chaos Springer or I'm super dead. Uh, Chad did not kill the Chaos Springer. Oh, I'm running! Oh. <laughs> Target priority. I'm looking at you, Chad. I'm like, uh, it's about to kill us. Rip. You can see the bringer on my screen. Yeah, so far I don't seem to have any movement issues. The last time I had like random movements when I let go, it's because of the controller sensitivity issue. I would probably just recommend you check your controller. Especially if you're using something like Joy to Key. Since I found that Joy to Key kept resetting my sensitivity, and I needed at least some percentage of a dead zone. Oh wait, there's Dark Gunners here, so you could get uh, more hard of items. Again, like, there's some value could come here. It's not that the guy would like willingly hunt all the time, but like every now and then, maybe we'll get a hard of item here. Also, is it just me or is this sound like the song like way louder than the rest? Might be on my end, but either way, I'm turning it down slightly. <laughs> it, was, it was actually so loud, I couldn't even hear my uh, button presses. We're still on 7th Dragon. We're, like, not even remotely close to finishing this game. There's the Dark Ringer, Frozen. Yeah, there we go. Died for the cause, I respect it. No, I got sniped by another one. Rip me. I'll, I'll just sleep in red zone, it's fine. I was gonna say, I swear it wasn't me that activated them, because I was dead for a majority of that. Ooh, this room is a little evil. I 
definitely want to debuff them. Oh, is my gel in only 29? Huh. I should probably go fix that. I mean, I don't think it makes a big difference, but I should probably fix that. Silence claws. Eh. Let me just get rid of these claws real quick. I guess there's like the normal soundtrack and the retro soundtrack. I guess it makes sense because uh, Yuzu Cozy Hero does like to do both versions. That would explain why the soundtrack is so long. Because he does that for ease. I'm trying so hard not to hit the Darkbringer, as you've no idea, chat. The patience involved. I'm just getting hard bullied over here. For Chris. Uh, I'm gonna lure a Darkbringer away. And then eventually when chat's ready, they can assist. Because I'm not doing anything. Listen. <laughs> just, just play the Benny Hill theme. I'm not attacking. I'm not. I literally would just be detrimental to the team if I did. Maybe I can land some demons here. Oh, that's... Why do I have heavy attack there? That should be special. That would explain some things, why demons was not activating. I'm like, wait a minute. That's not correct. Zap, zap. Lixon still does good damage here. Oh, straight to falls. Sure, let, let's go for a DF shield. Who cares? When, when else are you ever going to do this kind of hunt? You're like, nobody's doing RNTTF. Get out of here. <laughs> right, Chad? Like, just... I don't believe it. Unless they just don't know. We might as well as kill falls. Although, I might regret leaving my three seals behind for my other strat. We'll see. I definitely want to make sure we equip Glide Divine so we don't explode. Might not have enough resist to do the other strap. We'll see though. Okay, we got a ton of fireballs going. Oh, washing machine actually gets knocked down. That's a good sign. Listen. See, that's the advantage of low health. If you were at 1300 health, you would have died to spinner. <laughs> 1000 health, you just get inconvenienced briefly. You're like, uh... I'm sorry, what? Did... Tat, did you just witness that? How did I dodge that? I swear, Tat, I swear that should have hit me, Chad. I walked, like, right through... I was, like, slightly off-center of it, but I walked right through the graphic and it did not hit me. Is there some kind of magic to shorter characters? <laughs> Is being short actually a thing on this boss? Are we learning? Oh, I forgot that doesn't work on these. My bad. I'm gonna do this. I forget Rafoe doesn't actually target the head. It targets the center of its body. Gotta make sure if I riff away, I target the right thing. Alright, let's see if I die to this or not. I do not. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do, Chad. I'm gonna spam Gafoli, you just focus on surviving. Oh, Chad's getting knocked down, that's a shame. Okay, so I have just enough health to survive this. That's all I needed to know. Though I don't need three seals to survive, which is important.
So I can immediately go for the debuff that lets Imperameter focus on uh, Rambling May. And then I do decent damage with Fireball anyway. So it's not even like I do bad damage on this phase. So if I just, fo if I ironically tank the Fireball with my awful garbage health total, uh, I will probably help the group more than anything else. Yeah, I'm doing like, what, 303 a Fireball? 313? That's pretty good. You can't lifelink me. I barely have an HP total. Get out of here. That's a pretty clean fight. I was gonna say, you watch. Both, multiple players will get DF shield for no reason in this fight. We're gonna be like, we didn't even want to come here. <laughs> we're, we're such a weird party comp. <laughs> Just like, uh... <laughs> Double force. Oh, something did drop, but it's not useful. Don't need those. Yeah, sadly no interesting weapons either. You might as well clear the quest. Damn, I wish she had more defense. Even with double add of your defense is just trash. I mean, 120 XP a second is actually fine. It's actually fine, right? Like, it's not... In XP, it would be 170. That was, like, real XP. Anytime you start getting above 120, it's a good quest chat. So that was fine even just for XP. Wasn't super difficult. Ironically, the Ruins rooms were, I think, easier than the Mines rooms by, like, a long shot. Oh, I need to remember to equip God Technique when I'm uh, out of caves. Since that does actually benefit speeding up falls and doing a little extra versus the spinners. We'll do a few more. Hopefully we see some mines. If nothing else, we view it as no matter what its profit of Motav's run. I don't know about you. I would, I would probably trade mine in for the amount of PDs I could get for it. So next quest may level me, depending on if we get the boss or not. So it's nice that I'm actually playing Phone New World again, since it has been a while since we focused on her. Speaking of which, is is she actually at max HP count? Don't even know what Prophets and Mol Molotov is? Oh no. Uh, Prophets and Motan- oh wow, she's at- that's max HP material? Yeah, I don't think my opinion changed on that, she's so bad without it. Um. It's 20% to all the raw techniques, but it doesn't charge you HP to use. Which, honestly... I don't know if I would use it or not. I do like Rafoli, Rezond, and Rebarda. Don't get me wrong, but like, will I use- Well, I guess there's no reason to not use it over Fire Scepter. For Rafoli. I guess that's fine. It I it does make single player much easier. But I'd still probably want the PDs. <laughs> Especially if I could use it to pay for a psycho wand. Then it'd be like, okay, then it's free. Keep up the room. Yeah, like, I'd probably be doing, like, what, 300 of Rabarda instead of 272? Make a difference. That's definitely the right play. Rafoli in the middle. And punish all of them, because I could chip them out. And 
my ice damage is okay there. Alright, we, we are overdue. Come on, we gotta win at least one more 50-50. Chan can't ex experience my Pazuzu luck. It's not fair. My Pazuzu luck is such trash. There we go. <laughs> we did the plea we did the plea to emotions. <laughs> We're like, please no more. Yeah, the Rifoli sunlock here is huge. I mean look at this chat. I basically solo this entire room with a, a suboptimal spell. Well, we did have the good Pazuzu luck, but I didn't get the item. That's what I mean. Like you can see you can see the 50-50. You will not get the 50-50. If you recall when we were playing off stream the other day, Chris, I did not get a drop from Buzuzu. Sadly. No kunai for me, chat. It is what it is. Oh, full time drop. And I think we killed like a decent number of enemies. I don't think it's like Terrell's crazy. But maybe we'll put this in rotation next year for like cookies. Just to mix it up a little. Like do this over boss runs. We're just we're just gonna do like Viridian runs or whatever. It's such a shame that Viridian is so much worse at mines now because it does. Viridian also would have been really disgusting in this quest to be honest, because it would have been like pure value from almost everything, and then E101 from uh, mines would have made up for things. Yeah, right now their mines is kind of te terrible so sad. At least they have Grass Assassins, but... I don't know, like, whatever. Paid for, paid for TTF centers. Yeah, as I said before, I think all but, I think, two of my V101s came from TTF. I maybe got a third from Yellow. I don't remember. I feel like even though I did a lot of those runs, I just never saw them. But I would just do TTF and get rewarded. The game was like, thou shall TTF. Thou shall embrace TTF with one's heart and mind. I feel like even though Caves isn't like the most XP ever, I do feel like at least there's a lot for us to target. We're getting decent XP a second, kind of throughout. Just we lost a lot of time on the uh, the Chaos Breakers. So I guess we'll see what happens if we don't get the bonus path. Ideally we do, and then we get a bazillion more V101 checks, Excalibur checks, etc. If it ends at Mind Boss, it'll be sad, but whatever. of remembering to do things on like god technique. Squeeze out as much damage as I can there. Ah, we're cleaning these up. We need less enemies on the screen. Level 19, not all that exciting. Traps could be a little better. I will say, Chad, I am very thankful there seems to be no trap corridors in this quest. As all things should be. Oh, I actually froze him. That was clutch. Or somebody frozen shooter. One of the above. But you know what? We'll take credit for it. And did I get PD'd from Sinnoh? so rude. Oh no, no, it's from Brands. I don't think Brands is anything on Orange ID. That's fair. I was gonna say, don't you dare PD me on these. 
So if nothing else, I seem to be getting a lot today. So I might have to actually make another Photon Horde. So many enemies. Griffo even hits the switch without me needing to aim. So disgusting. Oh, oops. I'm getting ready to get Bowie stack. We know it's gonna be Quadra Barans, which is fine. And a debuff into Freeze, maybe? Stack a couple Gafoe while I can. I can see the dub switch in front of us, but I can't hit it. So the team stacked a couple Gafoe. That's the clear speed we're looking for. Yeah, that goes real smooth with four players. Dragon Slayer. As long as I don't get hit too, too much, it's not too bad. Right, we're gonna stack Kapoe for the next wave. Say, we had we had enough of that room. Get out of here, room. Right, we know there's gonna be a lot of Sinnoh Reds that come from the center. So at some point, one of us will be ultimately deadly ambushed. So I'm just gonna do my buff best to debuff here. Honestly, maybe I'll switch to magical beats in this room. Maybe chip them out a little more. Goodbye, Sino Reds. Yeah, the switch is at the far end of the room. Sadly, I can't hit it. Although, I think we're coming up to the Oops All Sino Red room. AKA the ultra value. Here's the ultra value. Look at this room. Nothing, nothing but amazing drops. Every single one of those top tier. Oh, the PD. That's rude. Oh, there's the other one. I was like, where is the last one? I think this is just going to the bonus area again, right? Yeah. Oh no, it went to mine too this time. Hmm. I guess it's still not the worst. It's still more Sinnohs. Oh no, it goes to the boss. That's fine. That's unfortunate. I got confused because I think we did literally the same room last time. I guess it is just totally random. It's hard to bail out if you think it's going to be good or bad. Bit unfortunate. Also, it's all on you, chat. I'm not dealing with this monitor. I, I do negative damage. I'll stunlock it briefly with this. It's all up to you after that. 
This boss is the worst for faux new rules. She can't do anything in this boss fight. Oh, washing machine has no needle. Good to know. <laughs> Needless to say, I don't have 800 ATP either. <laughs> I'm not, uh... <laughs> I'm not gonna pass that check. I'll never pass that check, sadly. I'll slow it down a little. I unironically think I just killed the boss by using Rafoli on its turret. We'll take it, I guess. So sadly, no super room, but fun. At least my bar to damage is okay. Oh, somebody got caged. Oops. Wow, apparently today is my day for PDs. I, it is very high for some reason. How many am I up to so far? I'm at five. A lot, because I, I think I was always holding one. That, that's my thing. That's my secret. I always hold PDs so I can pick it up. Poor Dragon Slayer. Unloved. Uh, how many PDs do I have in the bank? I imagine close to 90. Survey says... 87. As well as restock since I'm here. Sorry that you're having some controller issues. I don't notice anything different today. Maybe other people are experiencing something similar. So without the without the Dark Falls XP. I didn't level. But it's interesting how much different the XP is between the areas, because we got 100,000 the other path. This path only gave us 72,000. I guess there's just less enemies in general in that path. We'll do a couple more, and then we'll switch it up. At least every time we play, we're never sure what we're going to get, so that helps keep the quest fresh. <laughs> Will we get ruins? Will we get bonus area? Who knows? Oh, no worries, Draken. Glad you're able to get some runs in. We'll do at least one more. I at least want to level with this character. Then after that, it is sadly on beat. But we could do other things, depending on what chat would like. I mostly just wanted to see how the run felt on Orange ID. So that's out of the way. If there's anybody else that wants to take Dragon Spawn, please feel free to hop in. Because ideally we're going to get mines again for crazy value. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Blue Donna. Who are you quoting? I'm so lost. Fish Bob. I don't even remember when that came up. Does chat even remember when that was said? Now that that's a long-term memory test. I don't remember that at all. Somebody said it at some point. Could it have been in the reference to like Call of the Lamb? Where else what like where else would we have fish? Truly a mystery chat. Okay, Blue Donna took a big bonk to the head. We'll give Imperameter a minute or so. I'm assuming Imperameter wants to join. Gotta make sure to swap into Cure Paralysis, and then we're good there. Are there any other quests I wanted to try? Yeah, Lost Spirit Striker was okay. We talked about that last time. It's probably a solid pink ID quest. If we had a four man, like a really strong high level four man, we would try Twilight Sanctuary. I'm curious about that quest, but I'm not gonna push it. 
Oh, no worries, Imperameter. I see chat loves the, uh, the blue Donna question mark and the Phoenix Wright blonde. I'm very happy I, I, I gave him sunglasses, chat. I <laughs> drew them on him. So anyway, I think we've given enough time for people to join in, but I was thinking uh, starting next weekend, since I'm not feeling well today, uh, we will probably do some challenge mode things. So probably starting around, like, literally right around this time, around 11 o'clock, we're gonna try to just do, like, a stage or two, and then just slowly chip away at challenge mode. So if we do it in, like, two-hour increments, we should, in theory, finish challenge mode one. Before it gets to, like, the second week of December. Man, this is so useful for stunlocking Lily. Anyway, goodbye, Lily. Um. This stunlock is so good. I can hit at least two lilies, and I chip out all the Golbimers. The chat's able to basically just ignore them for the most part, because they'll die to me at some point. It's a good feeling. Yeah, I definitely really like this quest for the setup. Now that I've experienced both sides, both playing as, like, Cast Ranger and Force, they're pretty opposite of each other in how they handle rooms. Uh, yeah. It's been a lot of fun. Whatever. We're committing. I want that XP chat. Now I just view the rest of the run as XP. See, that's how you don't feel bad about the RNG. Just go, I'm not a max level, I want the XP. Then it's all good. Then it doesn't matter what you fight. Although, me getting stunlock out of Rafoe there really sucked. Can you please cast Rafoe? Thank you. I don't know if they were like just walking out of my line of sight, but that was weird. Look at this, because I can hit the lilies and every enemy. In single player, they would definitely die. Like right here, they would have died. 100%. Yeah, I think orange is pretty good. I mean, orange towards the fall drought kind of sucks. You can still at least get part of items. So there's, there is something like actually unique to orange that you can't do. If you are actually just looking to get all, like, the items in the game or get, get, getting the skins, at least it's something that is unique. It's not like I'm getting Guardiana only or something like that, or, like, only Heavenly Arms or something weird. So there are at least unique drops, no matter which way you go. I mean, definitely the preference is if we get mines. But hey, you never know. Could end up with profits of Motown for no reason. That's always fun. Yeah, there's still a decent amount of walking in the quest, so it's not going to be as strong as, like, a Tyrell's. But it's also much better than, like, the average quest on top of that. Which is why I, like, understand if it never enters RBR. I totally get it. Viridian sadly doesn't really benefit from Chaos Springers at all. And their Grass Assassin's okay. 
I mean, like, you get the V101 chances at, like, the Oops All Chaos Breaker room, but they also don't get anything from Sinnohs anymore. So, the Mines route is pretty dead to them now. Which is unfortunate. That Lone Sorcerer is trying. Yeah, like, the Grass Assassin change for Viridian is really good for one route, but totally terrible for the other. Just fair, I guess. Just one of those things you gotta deal with. Speaking of things you gotta deal with, let's be sure we got God Technique on. Just try to slightly squeeze out more damage ahead. see this being a really amazing phone world quest maybe, maybe this is actually how orange phone world does the falls run right because she she hates she hates the vault up boss fight it is such trash it's just like you you can barely do anything unless you're like completely set up for it and like now you might just go into reaching falls randomly with a bunch of enemies that you can hardcore fully in single player. I'm gonna play Dodge the Giant Laser Blast. My favorite minigame. I used to run Vridia because the TTF Nugget Churn Crimson is. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, damn. We're finding about. We're finding out things too slowly. Yeah, I would have been playing this last year for sure, had I realized. I think the thing is, is we played stage one, so I was thinking like, oh, stage one is an improvement over the original. And like, honestly, I prefer this over stage one. I'm not even moving. Why am I still getting hit? Oh, be alone. Moving. Okay, let's use some Razan to clean this up. At least I could deal with the claw. Oh wait, chat doesn't need to worry about those. Adapt the rest of these guys from existence. There's so many enemies I can even debuff them. Oh, I'm ultra dead, by the way, if they hit me. Uh, okay, good dodge, good dodge. Jokes on them, I got knocked down. Nice level up. Attack accuracy is actually huge. Because I need less items to hit my bringers now. Yeah, if the Darkbringers weren't there, that would have been, like, the perfect Rifoe room. I was too scared to activate them with how many enemies there were. This is worth three seals. We'll end up killing all the gunners in the room, which I think is a heart of item on orange, if I remember offhand. Kill the rest of the gunners, chip out the Indy Belras. I think we did okay there. That's just these enemies left.
by all these enemies. them preoccupied. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I found my purpose in this run. <laughs> it's just to be annoying to them. Multiples getting activated there kind of sucks. Yeah, team has to be careful about using shotguns, I think, into the... see a couple of stray shots at them. Or it looked like shotgun anyway. The bees. Alright, so now I can waste the other character's time by just walking over here. I'm gonna do so, so that way they don't charge the group. Also, as long as those two stick together, I think we're fine. Or I'll just get stun locked, this is fun. Edge of the episode 2 version of this was good. You know what? I don't think I've ever played the episode 2 version of this. We played, like, Endless. I'm kind of curious about playing it now, but I obviously don't want to play Force into it. I think my I think my time of suffering has ended. I am curious, so I do want to try it. The point is to experiment with quests we don't normally do. I mean, when in doubt, I'll just white ID. I could even bring in Raw Moral, or I could technically still play Static Pick. I guess it just depends on what people want. Oh no, Chat had a Darkbringer. Goodbye all my TP from all the Darkbringer activations. That is kind of a downside of coming this way in multiplayer. I didn't actually use that much TP, I just got drained like four times in a row. Like, oops. Silence Claw, don't care about that. There we go, I used demons. I justified the bringer's arm. Happy magical peace time. Is that a monolith? We'll probably try one other quest, and then we might just do some simple TT-ups or something. I don't think today will be a long stream. The obvious reason of not feeling that great. But yeah, I think starting next week, we'll start around 11 o'clock. Sunday's probably going to be the longer session of the two, so it's probably going to go more towards 1 versus 12.30. But we'll see how it goes. I believe. Oh, no. <laughs> Immediately got attacked. There we go. Silly music pausing. This time I'll do it properly. Not there. You freeze me. Somebody got frozen. I'm just gonna focus on healing for the team since I do the least amount of damage. Stack some Gafoes, keep everybody safe. Focus off oh, team. Unfortunately, I'm the only one that doesn't get knocked down. Okay, so that's kind of a problem for the Falls fight. 
They need to actually be able to attack balls here. I'm doing a decent job of shutting out the boss. It is funny the boss is fire immune, though. I think part of them knew the cheese was happening. Yeah, Glide Divine makes that strategy much more viable. That extra resist actually matters. I made sure to balance between fire and ice resist, too, so I don't just get one shot and explode. We're doing six more damage because I've got Technique on. Not the best. We'll take it, I guess. Hmm. Oh. This should make me get through the grants, though, I think. Some piece of parameter. <laughs> I mean, I guess on the plus side, there's so much foe coming out that we could just ignore that phase of the boss fight. We're like, yeah, we're just gonna output like 500 damage. It'll be fine. I think that's heard on episode 2 and 4. Yeah, episode 4 is kind of lame. I remember that one. It's just, it's literally just massive attack A, B, or C. And it just flips the stage. That, that to me was the least impressive. I was like, really? That's all it is? Like, uh, because I, I don't like some of the underground stages at all in Massive Attack. I'm like, why would I why would I run it? I don't like C in Ultimate, for example. A is okay, but it's like, oof. Trying to do single player, walking over the pits over and over. Terrible. No thanks. chat i'm morbidly curious <laughs> i want to i want to see what that endless ep or not endless the other random attack episode two is i'll bring in white id i'll probably be a force i'll, I'll bite the bullet for chat on that one yeah i definitely recommend a strong character at least one person should bring traps, and at least one person should be a ranger. Bigger rock ass? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so I think that's C-Bank 4? Yeah. Let's give it a shot. See how we feel about it. It's probably, it's probably terrible. Because the way I view it is that White ID is really good at making trash enemy counts more viable. And if it happens to have a lot of old gibbons instead of white ID, pink ID makes sense. So we have like a little bit of an option select. I think there are a couple of quests in episode 2 that I think do favor pink over white, aside from the obvious Phantasmal world. So... I'm just curious about this quest. But we'll see what suffering is like, I suppose. Let's go ahead and open up the information we have on this quest. Yeah, there's random attack Xrd, and there's Xrd Rev 2. I think we played Rev 2 before. I don't remember this other one at all. 
There's a decent number of Ilgil in the quest. There are 17, so that would weigh me more more than nod towards playing White ID. It'd be as much suffering as the principal's breakdown quest. Hopefully not. Like, the only downside is if we get Oga Flow, we don't get any value. Because White, White ID is not really great for bosses. That's the only downside of, of it in Episode 2. But it makes sure that Temple, and even to some extent, uh, Spaceship is really good. Hmm. I think that's fine, because the only alternative I would really consider at the moment would potentially be Purple. It's for V502s and OK Boss Drops. Is it worth swapping for this? Terrell's fragile ego. You know what, Chan? On the off chance we get Olga Flow, I'm gonna remake as purple so you can come back in. I'm like, uh, I might as well just try it. I want something that is V502. We lose out on Heaven Striker from the underground, but then we get a much better boss drop elsewhere. And potentially getting Yashmenikovs would make me very happy, I'm not gonna lie on that one. So I think Chad is generally looking for things like potentially Heaven Punisher chances, V501. Ignition Cloak from Spaceship would be amusing, but I doubt we'll get it. Yeah, it's one of those ones I haven't really thought about what would be the best in this quest. I'll have to analyze the numbers a bit more. It's kind of rough, because there's not many that would also potentially take advantage of the high enemy count, which again is not guaranteed. So I think with this one not guaranteeing enemies, it's a little harder to say which would be the best. Wah! Wah, indeed. Right... Cause, like, looking at the total enemy counts, there's a lot of Demians, but nobody cares about those. <laughs> Just, I guess White ID cares about it to some extent. Lilies, there's a good amount of Lilies. Uh, I could see it kind of going either way. I could see an argument still for White ID. But anyway, on the off chance we get Ogo Flow. Might as well try this. Welcome, Dango. Oh, Dango, did you want to hop in the run, by the way? Before we get serious with it. We're doing some episode two. Just wanted to confirm. And the worst that happens is we clear out the beginning area. Looks like we're starting with Temple. If Temple is always guaranteed, that definitely leads me towards a different ID, for sure. Stop hitting me? Behind other players, go away. Hop in in a few, good to know. Maybe the right call is what ID. This is a before. I need I need to learn how this quest works. If Temple is always guaranteed, that skews it more heavily towards White ID. Just because like purple ID and temple is okay. It's just okay. It's definitely not in like the top category. Okay, there's nothing over here. Just checking to make sure there wasn't like a breakable. But there's kind of on the fence. Like anything that potentially benefits from like a lot of old gibbons. Pink ID and White ID also benefit a lot, so like maybe you just play the odds and hope you don't get Olga Flow. Then you just feel bad for not getting it. Or I guess if you wanted to just do general White ID value hunts, I guess having... You know what? I'll take that punch to the face of the dodge of the Megid. That's the new tech. <laughs> 
So yeah, so if Temple is always guaranteed, that definitely makes me want to do White ID. Because they still get value from Lilies. They get a Disco Brave Man from these, and then if it's Mill Lily, it's 13. And I know this because it's a hunt that I do somewhat often offline. So combine that with, you know, the highest amount of enemies in tower areas, Ilgil. Like 17 is a lot. Any Dill Lilies are also worth value in White ID. Because otherwise it's just between, what, purple, red, and white? I guess red is decent, too. I guess red would be worth considering again to look at the full item list. I'm trying to recall what red gets outside of V502, Ilgil, and a decent temple. Yeah, pink temple makes a lot of sense for... Uh, as, like, a value run alternative. The downside, though, is it doesn't get V502. Plus side, it does get... Hmm. I guess it does always get, uh, what's it called? Parasitic Gene Flow. Maybe? <clears throat> I guess if, I guess if we're willing to give up a V502, Ink would probably... I guess it's valuing whether you want Parasitic Gene Flow or V502. That's what it comes down to. This BL Shreds Temple, apparently. Yeah, pink ID benefits in a lot of the same areas that white ID does. It's just that it has an arguably worse time in places like Spaceship compared to white ID. I think it wins in jungle. Versus, like, tower. I think I would rather have white. Yeah. I don't really think of Pink ID at all when I think of drops from Seabed. That's also a problem. I think that area is just kind of dead. I think it just has, like... It, it, go fight your, your fidget spinners for V501. And I'm like, excuse me? That's all you have here? I don't know. I don't remember anything crazy in Pink ID. It's not like I'm getting White ID Heaven Striker or uh, Gun Chang. Yeah. Just offhand, chat. I, I don't remember anything that Pink wants. Because I remember looking at the list a while back to determine whether or not I wanted something. And all their value is very middle-loaded. Like, they get some value from Tower. But again, no V502. Nothing super, super crazy. From Miracles. Like, I'm not going to get V502s from them, for example. I mean, they, in normal tower, they get, like, Demonic Four, Cladig of Epsilon, etc. Nothing really exciting. So if you end up with getting a lot of tower, that would feel pretty terrible with Pink ID. Alright, where's this taking us next? Seabed Upper? Okay, well... I will double check, for my own knowledge, what is actually here on Purple AD. Art of Yashmenikov, that's it. That's brutal. We got their worst area, I'm pretty sure. So sad. Because they potentially benefit from getting like a million vices from things. I think, chat, we should do hashtag buff purple gnome. Their seabed is terrible. Like, when I look at that whole list and there's one item, I'm like, yeah, that's why I don't normally play purple. What? You killed me while I was in another room? That is so rude. Look at where I was, chat. That's BS. BS. I was trying to get out of the spinner room. Instead, they made me exit life. <laughs> this one is special. <laughs> Game said no. Game definitely did say no. Yeah, purple purple's the worst here. We'll clear it, I guess. Oh, may maybe white ID is still more value, because you do get I forget which Sinnoh specifically is Heaven Striker. But at least there's something to look forward to, because white is notoriously terrible at Seabed, other than the Heaven Striker drop. I'm getting bullied. 
So I'm willing to play it again just to see how different the quest is. And then we'll just end with a TTF or something afterwards. And we're definitely gonna keep up and then heal. Chat, leave me alone. Definitely want to rebuff. I'm, I'm sorry, they put a Delveter here? Excuse me? That, that felt a little... That, that... That felt a little rude in terms of positioning. Holy. Well, good luck, team. This is annoying. It got me on the way up the stairs. I'll try my best to heal Chris. I put a fireball out just to slow up the fidget spinner. Hello there, wall of horrible things around us. A feeling when all you want to do is me good. Thank you. Be alone, please. Appreciate if all of you stopped attacking me. Thank you. Yeah, I wouldn't count the number of uh, Heaven Striker Sinnohs there are in the quest. I think that'll help sway my opinion. If there is like at least 18, or even 16, I think I'd consider. If it was like 8, I don't think it matters in the run. The closer to 20 it is, the more likely I am to pick White ID over Pink. It's more just comparing, like, old Gibbon count versus Sinnohs, because there's obviously going to be more Gibbons for the most part, as they're weaker enemies. You know, you gotta double check sometimes. Well, on the plus side, they punched me straight to Mag Blast. So if we're, yeah, we might as well do a Mega Mag, Mega Mag Blast, but I want to check one thing before we go further. So Sinozoa specifically is the Heaven Striker. How many are in this quest, allegedly? 27. Okay, yeah, that would make, that, that alone, unless there's like a million Gibbons. Oh, and there's not. Okay, yeah, no, this is a White ID quest for sure. No contest. 27 is a lot. Uh, this is the first one. Yeah, I was like, yeah, the, if you start getting over 20 in a run, I'm like, oh, that's actually kind of worth it. Ah, right, yeah, we're playing White ID one time. So we're, we're gonna clean up this room, and then we're gonna Mag Blast, assuming that this area doesn't immediately warp us. Double checking. Ah, uh, where? Okay, is this a warp? Is this a real room? Real room, okay. Thing. I'm going to say twins. Oh, two minutes in the next room. Unfortunate. Yeah, 
There we go. This should at least help with some clears. Yeah, the difference is that white ID is good in every single area. So even if it random selects it, that's fine. Right? Like, tower, white ID tower is considered one of the best towers. Seaside, it has so many just go brave band chances. It doesn't matter. Spaceship, it has Gurren. There's at least something you could get there, and Temple is extremely good. So if it's if you're looking at it from that perspective, if there's not a lot of Sinozoas to kind of sway it towards pink, I think I'd just rather be White ID. Because like high high number of lilies, perfect. So if it if it did nothing but temple, it would still be value. Mountain area, I think purple's okay there. Yeah, Heaven Punishers, Ajitos, Vices, Dress Plates. It's fine. I, I would rather have these areas for sure. If we happen to get Tower, we still get value, so. The Tower, Seaside, it's fine. I, I'm not going to say they're stronger than White ID or Pink ID here, but at least this is where a lot of value is for Purple. No, I wouldn't mind another dress plate to be honest. I found Americus. Although when I say A there, it sounds like I'm saying some kind of America monster. I need help with the America monster chat. <laughs> Americus wants to kill me. Thank you. Oh, there's a lot of waves here. Americus. <laughs> Try to debuff what I can here. Life a little easier. Definitely Robarda time. Jokes on you, Sinnoh Barrel. I'm like a trap user. I'm just extremely inconsistent. Oh my gosh, what is this spawn? <laughs> just, if you're in the middle of the room, die. <laughs> just, <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad a force was here to at least hit all that nonsense. Quadra Gibbles in this area? Holy. Oh no, not Quad Gibbles. Anything but Quad Gibbles, chat, please. Just unlock him a little to give our poor rangers a chance here. There we go. Wow, this this is quite a spawn. I'm not gonna lie. Is this whole is the whole fight here? Are we never leaving here? Is that what the secret is? They're like, we're, watch nature take over the creation of man, and then just instant. Wow, that, that was the whole area. <laughs> Control tower. Okay, that's fine. Control tower is exactly what we want with purple ID. That's fine. It's V502 chances. So I'm, I'm glad we still picked an ID that benefit from it. Oh, this is the secret area. We are filled with determination. Is that what it told us? Is that an Undertale reference? Oh, I'm I so dead, by it. the way. I managed to debuff him a little, but not the one that I wanted. I'm pretty sure that's an Undertale reference. Get out of here. I haven't actually played that game. I've only heard the rumors and legends. Oh, I'm ultra dead. I got hit out of my Rivarda. Thank you for the revive. I'll go for the Sunlock here if I can. Or I'll just get run over by another one. They really don't like me, is what I've learned. So apparently we found the secret area. So there are secret areas, apparently. Oh, oh man. Uh, well, debuff time. Let's 
Let's listen down. I'm going to be spamming that Rebarda button. I don't care how little damage it does. I don't want to see them do anything. Holy. Okay, there we go. Now, th this is a quest. Oh, I'm so dead, by the way, chat. Rest in peace, me. I'm going to get hit randomly. I'll do my best. I debuffed them. Ah, uh, there we go. There's the death. Wait, did I... Did I die, get revived, and then die again? Did I do that correctly? Did I double die? Oh, that Gibbles really wants me. Please go away from me, Gibbles. Man, this is brutal. I survived the nuke, which is good. I really want to freeze these. I realize I don't have my demons. That's on their own here. I'm going in chat. I'm gonna, you know what? Might as well as fireball. There we go. We got through it eventually. Holy. I need to buff the team like right now. My health total is like, it's fluctuating so much. I have no idea what's happening. Holy. I will do. That was unfair. That was unfair. There's nothing I can do about that. I just got actually deleted. I was gonna say now. Oh, oh, there we go. I got saved. <laughs> Delphiner was like the bodyguard in one of those movies. He's like, get down, Mr. President. <laughs> Just like slam me out of the way of the minion. <laughs> I mean, that that's, I guess that's one way to dodge. Just let Delphiner hit you in the face there. Oh my gosh. What a, what a floor. With this many Del Lilies, oh, this would have been so good for what ID. That's fine though, we still get value with purple. Nobody cares about Epsilon. Epsilon drops suck. Can we talk about it? Like, they're just actually terrible. Do you see him, like, suction cupped on me, by the way? <laughs> like, when I move, he just instantly follows me. <laughs> just like, Rrr. aggressive driver, Epsilon. Holy, there's still more? You found the secret area. Now die. <laughs> right, Chad? I mean, on the plus side, my Raffi is probably spamming Resta constantly. I'm keeping the team alive. I would love to be able to do something at some point. There we go. Oh, I got one shot. Not much I could do there. Just, I couldn't even die me more than once. Instantly get slapped. Holy... Is that what the effect of determination is? Because I'm noticing I am just getting full healed repeatedly. I thought it was like Star Atomizer hitting me at first. <laughs> it's so many Gaigwees. Why are there so many Gaigwees? Holy, leave me alone, please. Yeah, okay, so randomly when I get knocked down, it, it full heals me. That's the gimmick. Okay, now I understand the determination thing. Oh my gosh, I'm just getting wailed on from every side right now. I I I would love to buff, but I literally if I don't if I don't keep spamming Resta, I think I die. Alright, there we go. I might have an opportunity to assist the team with something. Holy. Alright, we are gonna put some shifter on. Try to try to keep the team alive. Well needless to say, it is very easy to build mag blasts in this final area. There is so much damage hitting me at any given second. Holy. Good job, though, team. I'll try to keep you healed in case it doesn't heal you. Oh, I'm so dead, by the way. I knew I knew that instantly. I was in the wrong spot. I deserve that. Alright, let's try to AoE. Okay, 
right, slow down the miracle. Okay. I was gonna say this this is just insanity. I don't even know if you could set up for some of these waves. There's there's just so many enemies all at once. I don't even know if I could get a good Kaboe stack at any point, other than like right here. Yeah, and then I have to just immediately debuff. Alright, we're gonna go for a trimate heal. I don't think I can afford anything else. Or is already full health. Alright, we're at least unlocking the Ilgil. We did it. That that's our only job, really, honestly. Uh, let team kill this, hopefully. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, how is there more? Oh my gosh, what is the enemy count in this area? Chat, what is actually happening? I'm gonna go for stunlocks here. Try to shift to Chris. I might actually. Oh, I got run over. What? No. Doing so well. Got bought by the miracle. Rip me. Yeah, the murder flower placement is horrendous in this stage. Holy. We're getting, like, literally almost nothing but cross formations. <laughs> or, like, or, like, three, or, like, three Murder Flowers, three Ill Guild, Del Beater. Like, what kind of spawns are these? This is so obnoxious. I mean, the gimmick helps, but, like, the problem is that I'm getting hit more with insta-death. What was there more? How? I'm, s I'm so confused. How is there more? <laughs> How? This, this room has been, like, the entire length of the Aquatus by itself. It's like, temple, minute and a half, seabed, two minutes, tower, 20 minutes. Holy. What is this? This better be the last wave. How are they even, they already did, like, the quadruple epsilon. What else could they do? I was looking to say, I was going to say, tap out, let it be the final wave. Holy. What an area. Disgu dis disgusting. There we go, I did twins just for you. Wait a minute. This is a jail. <laughs> I I wanna hold on chat. We're taking a moment to look up the enemy count. What the heck was that? So the final area was 17 Ilgil, 7 Epsilon, 16 Del Loli, 12 Del Beater, 11 Gaigui, 10 Gibbles, 6 Miracles, 6 Maricles, or Maricarols, I guess the other one, how do you say it, and then Maricuses of 4. Holy. What a quest. I've returned, what happened? Dango, you missed, uh, you missed an experience. Holy, my mag synchro is so bad right now. Rip my mag synchro. The special stage is the only one with big spawns in version one. I don't, I, I don't see anything referencing that this is random spawn. Just needs ghost orbs. Yeah, you're right. Oh. We didn't even talk to them to hand it in. Is it though? Like normally the the wiki mentions. Rever excerpt. This was excerpt stage two. We we didn't do revision two. Neither of them mentioned whatever you just mentioned. 
I mean, if, if it is like that, the wiki should definitely update that. Holy, what, what is revision 2 like? Is it like, maybe we shouldn't do that? Is that, is that what they determined? Holy. Right, but we didn't play Rev 2. That's why you're confusing me. We just played Exert Stage 2, which doesn't mention it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, let me put this away. HP materials, they've been gifted. I mean, at this point, now I'm just curious. <laughs> See if the other one works? <laughs> like, wait. <laughs> I'm just like, wait a minute. <laughs> hmm. I imagine it's similar. I don't remember how to hand this in. I'm just gonna skip it, I don't care. I'm bailing. I'll, I'll take the money loss. Let me switch which force I'm using. I didn't remember where we started, so I just left. To be real with you. I'm still thinking about Tower. My brain never left Tower. Yeah, I was like, no thank you. I don't really want the payment. I was back, and I'm not gonna make any assumptions. I listen. If it if it doesn't say in the wiki that it's like that, and the quest author didn't write it, I'm not gonna assume that a later, the later version, power. the way it works, is how the first version works. So I'm like, I don't think it's randomized spawn. I don't even think at the one that you're talking about, it's randomized spawn. So I, I think when you mean randomized, if you mean that you don't fight the whole floor, then yes. But the spawns are not random. Different. Because if you play episode one, there are like legitimate random spawns. Where you have like a number range in the same room. And that's not how this one works. I forget what quest that is. There's only, there's only a handful. That was like one of the later quest updates where they have like a, they literally have to give a number range because it'll go like, oh, it'll weight it towards like so-and-so. Like to some extent, I know like the Solstice quest, for example, offhand has semi-random spawn where there's a fixed number of enemies, but then there might be more on top of that. That's what I think of when I hear random spawn. Yeah. So, we'll do one more. Oh, Dango's here. We'll do one more, and then we'll try to end with the TTF. Welcome to hell. I mean, it can't be worse than that one, right? <laughs> right, chat? It can't possibly be worse, right? Well, we got Temple again, which I don't care about. Listen, if all it wants to do is force temple, I'm kind of okay with this. Like, oh no, I get value from Lilies and sometimes Rappy. Oh, they actually exploded. This time I have my, my bringer's arm. Okay, so no... No 13 here, but at least we'll get Disca chances. I think the Raffies are Rambling Maze by default. I was happy they finally moved Rambling May off of Rare Raffy. That felt so bad on Pink ID. That ID was, like, actually useless during events. It was so sad. Like, oh, do you have 150% rare rate? 150% rare? Get wrecked. Never seen the rare Raffi drops. All your value's gone. Interesting. 
interesting. That feeling when demons doesn't land. You know what? I kind of remember this quest, because I remember the stupid laser gate with the two rapies. I remember asking, I think, back then, why did they do this? Yeah, here it is again. So I think this... I feel like this is guaranteed, because I did... I'm pretty sure if you go back to when we tried this quest, I got temple again. Unless it is just really, really lucky that I just keep getting temple every time I play this quest on the first stage. I think after this, it's random. But that's like the only thing I remember from this quest. I remember thinking I liked Endless 2 more. And it was around the time we tried Endless 2 that we did this quest, I'm pretty sure. And eventually we'll go back to Endless 2, but that one requires kind of a dedicated team. Like the team currently here would be fine. For sure. Yeah, Endless 2 I had a lot of fun with. The problem with Endless 2 is that the enemy count is, like, not great. Like, I feel like the other ones were better at it, which is why I think, like, unironically, Pink ID Endless Episode 1 might be one of the best Pink ID runs you could do. Interesting we have split choices here. Why do we have a split choice here? The other run just items or something. Must be. Box room, makes sense. I didn't say anything update on the item reader, I just assumed it had to be. Yeah, so these lilies are just gonna brave man, then 13 is their counterpart, Rappies are rambling may, so like there's at least value clearing through these, even if the other enemies can be kind of mediocre. Got a war. Yeah, as I was saying before, the problem with Endless 2 is not that it's not fun. I think it just doesn't have enough enemies. If I remember correctly, like, most of the counts are kind of low on the ones that are, like, actually good. Like, there's not- there won't be, like, a room of, like, 20 or 30 old Gibbons from what I remember. But I could double check the list again. It's definitely not going to compete with like the 100 of uh, Old Gibbon if you clear like Phantasmal World, for sure. Hello, Lily. And a demon had just landed there. And an insta kill. I like that demons puts them low enough that I don't have to do anything else. Just die on the spot. Okay, so where's it taking us? Spaceship. That's unfortunate. I mean, at least we still have like Gurren and stuff, don't get me wrong, but I don't like spaceship. Yeah, I'm just kind of like, uh, rather of any other location. I just don't like the enemies in Spaceship. I feel like if Barans didn't just like insta-kill your characters, I'd probably like it more. But I just find it annoying to do Spaceship, where you're like dealing with like Barans plus Sorcerers or some BS. Feels terrible in single player with that kind of stuff. Like, cool, enemies I can't kill with BDK. No, I mean, like, what are you gonna do about this? They're immune to EDK. That's why I don't like Spaceship. Like, okay. I gotta do, uh, play peekaboo tactics with them, which is annoying. Because remember, they're immune to EDK. You can't cheese the Barans. You have to kill them. So it's like, I can't even just, like, stroll through here. So annoying. At least it's only two Barans. Because there's a lot of quests in uh, Episode 2 that seem to have, like, the Quadra Barans or some other nonsense, and I'm like, come on. It's already, like, barely playable. Oh, speaking of evil, we talked about this last time, but when you see that formation there, they purposely surround the Barans with enemies, so that no matter where you're facing, he instantly fires. 
Like, that's the kind of BS I'm talking about you see all the time in Episode 2, and that's why I don't like Episode 2 Spaceship. Like, fortunately, the team would freeze him instantly, but I feel like a lot of the Varans are purposely placed in ways to get them to auto-fire. Very annoying. Episode 1 more likes to put a lot of Varans... Uh behind like a wall of enemies but at least if you know they're there the next time you're there you could deal with them whereas that one is just always annoying like you better you better pray you're in the exact position or it's over I'm not sure what we're waiting for just the game it seems a lot of barans I don't mind the Del Sabers. Del Sabers are fun. But anything other than them, I'm like, hmm. Oh, they actually have pan arms here? That's cute. Well, I, I was gonna say, the, the switch froze in the air. Hello, Barans that spawn while we're fighting other things. I saw that. Yeah, like, waves like this are easy, even without, like, Hell Needle. This is fine. It's when they start going, like, really... Corsair Varans heavy. The, the enjoyment factor falls by, like, <laughs> multiple, multiple factors. Ten. <laughs> like, wow, it's a hundred times less fun. See, like, they would probably just put, like, Varans in here just to annoy you. Speaking of which... Why are there so little quests, little to no sorcerers? I guess they had a design philosophy that they only wanted the sorcerer to appear on the second floor. And the problem is that most of the quests are just not on the second floor of spaceship. Is Cookie Spaceship Beta? Uh, I don't know. Custom quests can ignore those rules, so I don't think they play by those rules, but if you look at, like, the standard quests, you won't see sorcerers in a majority of them because they're in the beginning of Spaceship. area. It is... Seaside. It's an Alpha Zero Sorcerer. Yeah. Okay, Seaside, I think we get benefits from Guy or from Geese, I mean. On Demons. There we go. I get to assist. Yay. I'm helping. Of the EDK. I'm like, wait a minute, I made a mistake. But again, the quest XP is fine. Like, the way I view it is it's a decent quest if it's at around 100 XP a second. It's not like broken. Like, broken quests are the ones that hit like 140 before XP up. But, like, for what it is, it's not too bad. Target, I swear. You could please. Also, that was definitely meant to be Zalor, but whatever. It's basically mad. Then.
Yeah, at least there's like boxes as we go. It's definitely, it feels like there's at least more checks. We talked about it before. Pink ID is some crazy box checks. Yellow ID is some crazy box checks. Fiasco is Spaceship Beta. Oh, Christmas Fiasco 2 is like borderline unplayable. <laughs> like, I, I played that a, a long time ago. I still have nightmares. That thing is like so, so overwhelming with its enemy count and it's resistant to EDK later on. We're not having any fun when it got into the seabed area. It's like, oh, did you order eight Del Beaters in a wave? I think you wanted eight Del Beaters in a wave. And I'm like, no? <laughs> uh, please, no? Yeah, you will not usually see me ever, ever, ever do Christmas Fiasco 2. It is a quest for sure. I still don't like one that much unless I'm with a serious group, just because the enemies are stronger than normal from what I remember. Where's my LT 8 Del Beater in a hallway? They'll remake Penumbral Surge. They'll remake Penumbral Surge 5. They'll, they'll add more Del Beaters. Yeah, just... There's no point to farming it, honestly. Sorcerers just don't have anything. Like, am I really gonna do that quest for, uh... Ignition Cloak, when I could just do any other quests and get full. So. There we go. What is my level Mika that it keeps failing so often? 29? Brutal. Profound sadness, chat. It's not even a low level. It just said no. So sad. That quest was fine. I'm not, like, in love with it, but we did clear it, at least. Presumably. Straight to tower? Okay. Okay, nothing behind us. Always check for boxes. Okay, this is like a reasonable... <laughs> the, the scream of despair as soon as we get tower. This is like a reasonable amount of things to fight compared to the other quest's bonus room. This is fine. I don't have any complaints about this. I didn't like the Baran's room, but I just hate Baran's in general. It's not the worst I've ever seen with Baran's, but it did have the classic annoying thing of Baran's in small room teehee. Yeah, like, this is, like, reasonable for the most part. Promethean says what's going on here. Doing some tower. Gradually climbing upwards, trying to complete a random attack. Yeah, if anything, the enemy density here is a little too low. I'm curious if they're going to balance it in the next room. Kind of. Love being lasered. Thank you, game. Alright, Rico Box kind of makes up for a roll number of attacks. so I don't pull people. It looks like there's a, uh... Del Lily over here. Oh, Chris is out of range of buffs. There is a healing circle for traps, which is interesting. I wonder if that means they're gonna make the next room actually hard. If you want, team, it's on the other side of the wall. I'm not sure how badly you need it.
Also, just recover TP faster than normal. Was it just me or was that faster? Normally I have to wait for a full cycle for like a full clear, but that that capped me like almost instantly. Do you imagine if they applied that to the other class? Oops, gaming fail. Hopefully rang. I think so. I'm <laughs> speaking of I think so. It is uh time to hold still. Yeah, I still think for Fee- Wow, they summoned a Gibbles mid-fight? That's evil. That's- that's actually evil. Why did they- why did they do that? Why? Why did you do this? Why didn't you spawn him earlier? While we're waiting for Epsilon. That's so rude. Yeah, I would still say for V502, I would still never run this quest, to be honest. There, there's only one quest I will ever probably run V502 in again, and it is the anniversary hour quest. That quest was stupid good at Ilgil's. Like, the only quest that I actually enjoyed start to finish. Because I can solo run it as a force, more or less. buffs in here. Yeah, like, I don't really enjoy Lost Charge Vulcan or uh, Sweep Operation, to be honest. I just thought the Anniversary Quest was just so much better that it was, like, no contest. Easier clear. More enemies. So much easier to, to trap things in those quests comparatively. A quest. Got to buff Dangotron real quick. Got to pick up some items. How rude. Yeah, I think we ended up with like four B502s from the other quest. Okay, how ominous. We're starting with double epsilon. How annoying. Not, how not appreciated. I'll try to heal chat a little bit here. Megatron cleaning it up here. Okay. You know what I also realized? I'm only using one out of I'm wondering why my, it felt like my TPU was disintegrating. Makes sense, no. I did not mean to heal there with TP. Oops. I'm so dead here, by the way. So, let me get this straight. The person who steps on the switch to spawn it gets just gibbles randomly. This is very rude. Dead. I, I can firmly say I am not a fan of the room spawns so far in this quest. They were fine in the beginning, but this is just stupid, honestly. Why so many Epsilon? I really do feel like Epsilon ruins the face of every tower quest. They're really slow and their drops are terrible. Never excited to see them. Okay, I'm gonna put down a safety Gafoe. Like, like, look at, like, look at that! What? Why are you spawning enemies literally on the thing you have to step on? Stop that. Put them at, like, a reasonable distance, please. I beg of you. Ah, oh, <laughs> 
I mean, do you see what I mean, chat? Like, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't, I don't appreciate this. Is every single wave gonna just drop something on the switch that you have to stand on? So I can't go fully stack at all because of this. So obnoxious. Yeah, they, they definitely blew it on this final wave. It, the worst part is I actually like the idea of the enemy switch, but like, don't literally put every single enemy on the stupid thing's spawn pattern. Still kills dead, I don't know where he is, but GG. Yeah, like, look at this. Stop it. <laughs> Gotta be a trap user on the Switch? I think so, but, like, even then it's, like... I don't know. If that's why they put the healing circle there, I'd rather they just have not done it. I'm stuck. I don't like these kinds of things. Oh, there we go. That is not the right... Why am I getting the wrong debuff? Did my sensitivity reset? Why did my... Why did my sensitivity reset? Go to keep, please. There we go, that should fix that. Boss fights indeed. So, like, the XP is still fine, so it tells me, like, the pace of the quest is decent if you have good gear, but I really don't like that tower room. There's so many enemies that just, like, instantly hit you, and or you have to dodge them. I, I just... just don't like those kinds of enemy spawns whatsoever. Anything that stops me from, like, consistently Gufoe stacking as a force in tower makes me not happy. And needless to say, there's also a lot of rooms where the problems aren't solved by, like, one trap user. So there's, like, one or two waves in there where it was, like, nothing threatening in the middle, so Freeze Trap doesn't do anything, but then they put Del Beater on the opposite ends of the room to charge in, or they'll put, like, the Murder Flowers on the edge of the room, and it's, like, just random enough that I don't really honestly feel like putting in the effort to memorize where exactly I need to be. Since that's more of a... Instead of one person controlling the quest, it's at least two people need to know what they're doing. Since there's multiple waves in there that re that have insta-death lilies that are not reachable by one character. Which is not great. I, I don't enjoy those kinds of quests. But anyway... Oh, I guess we'll do a quick TTF, and that's it for now. I'll bring in Hugh Castile, I guess. Yeah, can I, I can say I did not enjoy most of that quest. I would say, like... Weirdly, I thought the seaside one was okay, but like, I don't know. I don't know about that tower, chat. That tower would be like, ain't, I'm not playing it single player, just by itself. No, thank you. Be right back, chat. Just want to make sure I have my phone on me. It's just like there's just so many enemies in that one we just did that was like a deal breaker like endless epsilon really awkward and trolley epsilon where gibbles just falls down after like 30 seconds i don't know chat i find that so whack <laughs> be real with you actually chat 
I have bad news. I hear somebody hitting my doorbell. So I actually need to go, chat. So sorry about the abrupt end, but I'll. But I guess we'll we'll talk later. Thank you, everybody.